Hi guys, my name is Kekasha Mamtaz and I am working as a medical intern in JJ Group Hospital. As I had mentioned in my previous video, um, I got my results. Um, so first things first, I gave my UWSA one week before uh, my actual exam and got about 261 um, in UWSA too. So I was expecting uh, my score within the range of 256 to 266, you know, plus minus 5, but I got 252 in my actual exam. And I think that slight uh, difference is because of the recent change in pattern. So after my results, I took a big nice break, celebrated a little, got sick because of the celebration, and um, I'm back. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the study materials, all the study materials that I use for step 2CK, and uh, I'll be starting them according to how relevant I found them to be. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing will be first aid for step 2CK. This book. So all those people who have given step 1 before step 2 CK, they know how important this book is. In fact, first aid bolte, this is what comes to our mind instead of this. Sadly, for step 2 CK, first aid is not that relevant. It's a good book, um, but it's lengthy and has just 8 to 10 questions per topic. I had just finished my step 1 and was really enthusiastic about starting preparation for step 2 CK. So I ended up buying this book first aid for step 2 CK. Um, but I did study endocrinology and um, surgery for this book. Endocrinology was so-so, but uh, surgery part was great. It's concise and um, it really strengthens the grip over the subject if you do it alongside the world. Overall, I'll give this book 2.5 out of 5. I won't recommend you to buy this book, but if you have it already, um, just go to the key points once. First aid for step 1. Why? You are me. It's first aid for step 1. We all know that step 1 and step 2 are basically the same thing. It's just that step 2 is more clinical. And legends say that step 1 makes up to 70% of step 2 preparation. So as much as you want to do it, don't throw that book out after step 1. Keep it with you. In fact, what I did was, I converted ent my entire study material uh, for step 1 into this concise folder and reviewed it from time to time while I was preparing for my step 2 CK. I'm not reading this book because as such, first aid for step 1 is not meant for step 2. It's just that I did it and I'll recommend it to you guys, especially to those people who have taken a big break between step 1 and step 2, like I did. For those of you who are planning to give step 2 um, within 2 months of step 1, um, I don't think you need this book anymore or I don't think you need to review this book again because the knowledge is right here. So online merit or OME. This is new. And I started using it because it was free. Online Merit is a website that contains uh, pre-recorded videos in every subject for step 1 and step 2. And the lecturer is Dr. Dustin Williams. Initially, I found OME to be really simple. He kind of dumps everything down for us. And I didn't like it because step 2 has got to be tough, right? Um, and this is also the reason why uh, most of my friends left it midway. But it is really helpful for your last minute revision. There's this book of snapshots that uh, online Reddit provides. Um, it contains snapshots on almost all the topics. Um, and uh, Dr. Dustin Williams, he just sums everything up um, about that topic in one page. So it's just meant for quick review. Instead of watching the entire 15 minute video, you can just have a look at this one page uh, and you sort of get the grasp of um, the topic. The videos are free. But the book is not. So to get this book, uh, you'll have to buy a subscription there. Uh, but it's not at all costly. Nothing compared to a uh, subscription of you would. Spoiler alert, you'll find some mistakes in the videos. And that's because the video has not been edited ever since it was made. So yeah, that's a problem there. Overall, OME gets about 3 stars. Next up is Anki. Anki is amazing. To those of you who are familiar with this term, Anki is a program based on space repetition and contains decks for almost every exam, not just Emily, for every exam. And most importantly, they are for the students, by the students. Which means that uh, these decks have been prepared by people, basically angels, who took the exam before us and chose to help us by sharing their notes on this program. Each deck is made up of thousands of flashcards on, the subject, on that subject. So uh, you know what all points you need to remember before going for that exam. Plus, it's a fun way to learn and memorize stuff um, for USMLE or any other scary as exam. Now coming to step 2CK, um, I found two decks to be very helpful. 
donkey and empty. So uh, both of these decks contain the same information, but I like empty more because uh, of the pattern in which these flashcards are made. So you can download uh, the flashcards for free, read those flashcards, and add flashcards of your own. What I did was I had added my um, Anki flash, uh, my UL flashcards in the same deck. I prefer active learning over passive learning, and uh, Anki kind of does that. It keeps you involved in the whole process. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't like spaced repetition, then Anki is not for you. Now it's time for the big guy, UWorld. This thing needs no introduction. We have been using UWorld for step one preparation, and it is the single best source for step to seek it. So UWorld contains clinical vignettes of it on every system, and uh, also, it keeps on adding questions uh, every week. Presently, you work for Step 2 CK has around 3700 plus questions. So yeah, that's a lot. But the pattern of these questions is exactly similar to the ones that show up in the exam. You need to buy a subscription for this uh, new world thing. Uh, and it's a high price. So some people also resort to downloading the offline version. Um, I wanted to save money. So I did that too. But I won't recommend it because um, A, it's the uh, older version that gets downloaded. B, it's not the same as solving uh, you would online because you basically go through the questions and answers and uh, it just doesn't give you the feeling. So I recommend you to buy that subscription, if you've got money, use it uh, on you would better than it's better than using it on any other uh, study material available for step to seek. Uh, most people do you would once, but I solved uh, all the you would questions once in uh, once in tutor mode and uh, did the wrong ones again uh, in time. And I personally recommend you to uh, go over all those UL questions again and again over um, choosing any other or uh, reading any other study material for second. UL is like the best. So yeah, and about rating, do I need to mention it's a file? Now coming to practice tests. So there's a long list of practice tests that are available for USMLE Step 2 CK. But I just did two, um, NBME and UWS. Just know that these tests are very important for your practice. Now you may know a lot about uh, the subjects, but um, time time factor is the most important factor uh, in the exam. And these practice tests just keep on reminding you that and help you get acquainted with the time crunch. The scores of these tests don't matter at all, uh, as long as you keep uh, improving with each test. I've seen people get upset you know, because of their uh, GWSA score and NBM score, but it's just the progress that matters. So if you like this video, show your support by giving a big thumbs up, share this video with the people that can make use of this, this information and um, if there's something that I have forgot to mention, do let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, there's a high chance you'll relate to other videos on the channel too. So do check them out and subscribe to the channel. In my next video, I'll be discussing my 3 month study plan for step 2 CK. Till then, goodbye, good luck, stay tuned.